Hi and welcome to our lesson on working with American money. We will be looking at adding dollars and cents, where carrying is involved. For example, we are asked to work out the total amount of money shown. We will begin by separating the money into dollars and cents. We can move the one dollar bill over to the dollars, and we can move the dime over to the cents. Starting with the dollars, we have one, two, two dollars. Looking at the cents, we have one dime, which is worth ten cents, two dimes, so twenty cents, three dimes, so thirty cents. So we have two dollars and thirty cents, which we write as two dollars thirty. In some cases, we may have enough cents to make another dollar. Again, we are asked to work out the total amount of money. We'll begin by separating the money into dollars and cents. Looking at the dollars, we have one dollar. Looking at the cents, we have one, two, three, four, four quarters. Each quarter is worth 25 cents. This makes a total of 100 cents, which is the same as one dollar. So we can move these over to the dollars. We now have two dollars. Looking at the cents again, we have two dimes. This is two lots of 10 cents, so 20 cents in total. Altogether, we have two dollars and 20 cents, which we write as two dollars 20. Here's another example. Again, we'll separate the dollars and cents. Looking at the dollars, we have two. Looking at the cents, we can count the dimes to see if we have enough to make another dollar. Since one dime is worth 10 cents, we need 10 of them to make 100 cents. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can move these across to make another dollar. We now have three dollars. Looking again at the cents, we have one dime, which is ten cents. Plus one cent makes a total of eleven cents. So we have a total of three dollars and eleven cents which we write as $3.11. Here's our final example. Again, we'll separate the money into dollars and cents. Looking at the dollars, we have one dollar. Now we'll look at the cents to see if we can make another dollar. We have a quarter, which is worth 25 cents. So, so far we have 25 cents. We have another quarter, which is another 25 cents, giving us a total of 50 cents. We have four dimes, each worth 10 cents. So 40 cents altogether. This takes us up to 90 cents. And finally, we have two nickels, each worth 5 cents, giving us another 10 cents. This takes us up to a total of 100 cents, which is another dollar. So we now have two dollars. Looking at the cents again, we have two nickels, which is 10 cents, and four one cent coins, which make four cents. Altogether, we have 14 cents. So we have two dollars and 14 cents, which we write as two dollars 14. Here are some questions for you to try. Work out the total amounts of money shown. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1. We have two dollars and five, ten, fifteen cents. So two dollars fifteen. Question 2.
we have two dollars and we have one, two, three, four quarters, which make another dollar. Looking at the cents again, we have two dimes, which make 20 cents. So we have three dollars and 20 cents, which we write as three dollars 20. Question three. We have one dollar and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dimes, which make another dollar. Looking at the cents, we have two dimes, so twenty cents, and four one cent coins, giving us a total of twenty four cents. So we have two dollars and twenty four cents which we write as two dollars twenty four. Question four. Looking at the dollars, we have zero. Looking at the cents, we have a quarter, which is twenty five cents. We have another quarter, which makes fifty cents. We have another quarter, which makes 75 cents. We have a nickel, which is worth 5 cents. This takes us up to 80 cents. We have two dimes, which are worth 20 cents. This makes a total of 100 cents, which equals $1. Looking at the cents, we have 10 cents plus 2 cents, which equals 12 cents. So we have $1.12, which we write as $1.12. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.